CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello and welcome. I'm in conversation with Amit Jatya. You know, I also wanted to quickly ask you about pricing. You know, input costs for bread and cheese have been increasing. Uh, will that translate into price hikes? Because I understand this is a very price sensitive market as well. Even through the high inflation years, McDonald's typical strategy around price increase is between 3 to 6 percent a year. And um, we've been able to maintain and that. And you've taken that price increase already this year? This year, no. We did only January. So in the financial year, we've not taken a price increase. But in the last financial year, we took a price increase in January. But this year, we may take it later in the year. I mean, in the next uh, two to three months. But uh, but typically, the price increases are 3 to 6 percent. You know, margins have been in the range of about 4 to 5 percent. And I, I understand there was a spurt uh, in the middle right. at about uh, 7 percent. Uh, but, you know, when can we expect a sort of double-digit uh, growth as far as margins are concerned? So, you know, we have shown dramatic improves in the uh, improvements in margin in the past as well. Uh, we were, in, in fact, in 2010 or 11, we were at 3 or 4 percent. And we suddenly went all the way to 12 and a half percent. So our business needs a lot of operating leverage and is driven by growth. It's driven, so the number of stores are going to help and average store volume is going to help. Our, 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 um, our vision is to get to mid-digit, uh, uh, mid to high teens of EBITDA margin. So from the 5 to 6 percent that we are today, we want to get to the 12 to 15 percent in the next five years. The corporate battle that's brewing these days in corporate India, we've seen the Tata feud uh, that's all taking place. Um, you know, how, how do you view this from an industry perspective? Is this healthy for corporate growth? Because investors clearly are panicking at this point. See, no feuds are healthy. Yeah, but the reality is that while there may be uh, great times, a couple of times things do go wrong as well. I think in the bigger picture, it all settles down eventually. I've seen so many, um, you know, uh, fights. I've seen so many corporate feuds. But eventually, people get over it. And yes, two to three years, that particular group or that company might take a bit of a beating. But eventually, if the company's long-term strategy is good, they will come out stronger from that. You know, one such corporate uh, feud that was also raging was with your uh, partner, um, Vikram Bakshi, who handled the North and the East uh, uh, for McDonald's. How do you see that panning out? Because as I understand, it's still, there's still no clarity on that front, right? Well, uh, like I said, things sometimes go wrong in a relationship, and that's probably what's happened in North India. I'm sure, of course, I'm not involved. Basically, I'm sure McDonald's and uh, the partner will find a solution eventually. Um, I, I think things are in court, so one's got to wait and see what that does. But I'm hoping that over the next whatever months or years, it gets resolved. And then, of course, McDonald's will be on a growth path in North as well. But, you know, has a sort of impaired relationships with the global giants because, you know, such uh, corporate uh, battles actually put a global player off its uh, feet. I think so, but I think the cha I think it's known as I've read that eventually it's about the right partner for a global company and also for the Indian partner to find the right global partner. To me, it's about the DNA of the partners. Yeah, there are companies, um, say globally or in India, that have certain values, and as long as the value systems match. I think it will be a great relationship. So 2025 is when your licensing agreement would come up for renewal or has that been no, renewed no. already? No, so we renewed our license in 2010. So we have a 20 plus 10 year uh, term. So at least till 2030 for sure. So we have a long way to go. <laughs> right, you know, one quick question on competition. Sure. Um, you know, you were the lone rider before KFC, Burger King made their way into India. In terms of market share, how is that played out? See, I personally feel whether you believe me or not, competition's good. And I'll tell you for two or three reasons. Firstly, it grows the market. So if there are more people offering burgers, burgers become more relevant to the consumer. Right? Of course. The other reason why I feel competition is good, it keeps us on our toes, right? So you will see a lot of innovation has happened in the last five years. Because with competition coming in, no longer can we do things at our pace. We have to do things at the pace of the consumer. And I think that's going to keep us healthy and going. So I'm loving it. I think we have a very strong competitive advantage. And I think we can take on any competitor. But in terms of market share, what does it stand out? Oh, market share, I mean, if you see, QSR is a very large industry. Within that, if you look at burgers, we are clearly number one. Basically, if you look at in terms, otherwise, Domino's now, because of their presence in larger stores, their total sales are higher than us. However, our penetration strategy is about intelligent penetration of cities. So if you look at the cities in which McDonald's operates, 
markets, right? Our market share in most cities would be number one. On that note, let's slip into a very short burger break. Lots more on the other side. CNBC TV 18 Weekender. 